Hayden, uh, thanks for your time. Um, you ran uh, uh, third in the Olympic final in 53 won eight in 2008. You were fastest going into that final. Two years on, what your reflections on, on that performance? Uh, yeah, it was, I still remember it like it was just yesterday. Uh, it was probably one of my best performances. Uh, well, my best performance in the pool so far. Uh, yeah, just basically everything went right for me in that race and it felt great. And I mean, I still wake up some mornings and can't believe that I've won a, sil a silver and a bronze uh, Olympic medal, so it's great. And since then, perhaps a bit of a mixed bag. You were injured before the World Championships last year. Yeah. And, and, and tell us a little bit about that and, and the form since then. Yeah, absolutely. Well, um, basically, I think, I mean, Beijing was great, but it was also bad in another way. In uh, I succeeded with my, um, I exceeded over my expectations. And basically doing that, I, uh, thought, oh, well, I'm invincible, I can take anything, and so I decided to take three months off where I should have only taken a month off after the um, Beijing Olympics, and in doing so, I uh, came back a lot of overweight, um, not really into it, sort of lost the love for the sport, um, just a whole heap of things combined, and um, yeah, I found basically I'd lost myself completely, and I uh, Ended up sitting down and having a chat with my coach, and uh, he said, "I think you should give it away. I mean, you've, uh, you've got a silver and a, a silver and a bronze Olympic medal. I mean, that's great. I mean, expectations on you through the roof. So if you give it away, there'll be no hard feelings." I thought, "Oh," I said to myself, "I'll, I'll think about it. Give it a couple of weeks and uh, see how it go." And I went away and thought about it for a couple of weeks so I uh, took those extra two weeks off training and really thought hard and sort of started really to miss just going to training and uh, training with a, a great group of kids and or uh, young adults and that so and um, I've got a really really close relationship with my coach and I kind of miss being around him and having a good old laugh and a good old yarn so I came back and said I really want to go through to London, give it a good shot, I really want that um, Olympic gold medal. So I came back and yeah, basically um, been working towards London. I mean, I pulled up with a shoulder injury uh, after having that three months off. Um, that was pretty bad. Uh, I didn't think I could get back into it after that. Uh, and then basically, uh, with the support of my family and my coach and everyone at Norwood Swim Club, I uh, pulled through and uh, went off to the AIS and got some uh, recovery and some uh, therapy for my shoulder. Came back and uh, now getting ready for Commonwealth Games. I also understood that the AIS experience didn't necessarily fully agree with you and that's why I wonder if you came back here. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I went over there and uh, it was basically to get my shoulder fixed, uh, to get a bit of therapy. My head coach from the Australian swim team, Alan Thompson, at that point, recommended me to go over to the AIS. So, I mean, everything's there, your, your physio, your massage, everything in that one place. And he said, go over there, get it all done, come back if you want, or stay on over there. And basically, I um, did my eight months, got my shoulder back to where it should be and uh, did really well at the trials but um, I really still wasn't feeling it with that coach that I was under over there, John Fowley. Just we didn't have the connection that I had with Pete Bishop and ended up basically uh, saying, uh, I mean I'm grateful for all that you guys have done here but I think it's time for me to move back to my old coach and see what I can do. Now, you're right, born in Kingsford, New South Wales, but raised principally in Bury, yep. in the Riverland. Yep. Um, and I understand a bit of a wild man in your younger days. Yeah, um, I mean... Tell us a little bit about how the um, how you got into swimming in, in Bury. Well, I mean, growing up on the Murray River, I mean, it's a great place. My parents owned a houseboat, so we were up the river every weekend. And basically, I just remember my mum dropping me over the edge because I came from a... Uh, a swimming background family. My 
my mum swam, my dad swam, my sister, my cousins, auntie and uncles. So it was a real big swimming family and I just think, I can just remember my mum dropping me over the edge and I sank straight to the bottom and all I can remember is my, my dad pulling me up. So I've, I've got fond memories of that and ever since then, I'm, I mean I've been in water since I was two years old so I just, I learned, learned to swim from those guys and they taught me everything right up until basically I got to up to Kingscliff and uh, went back up there and trained under Greg Solder for five years and then um, like I, I learned so much from him and technique and uh, starts, turns, it was a great experience, there was a great uh, great bunch of uh, guys up there, actually uh, another Rivalander, uh, Sophie Eddington, trained with her and yeah it was just fantastic and uh, just to sort of get that experience and uh, then sort of uh, come back home to my home, oh, cool, I'd, South Australia, my home state, so I mean basically yeah it's, it's fantastic to sort of come back here and train under Pete Bishop and yeah, go get an Olympic silver medal and an Olympic bronze medal. Of all the strokes that you can swim, and obviously you've got the ideal um, physique for, as, a, as a swimmer, what, why, what, 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 uh, what made the decision about backstroke? Uh, it was probably when I was younger, I didn't really like my head under the water, so I'd uh, basically backstroke, you got your head out of the water the whole time, and uh, yeah, basically. It might sound a little bit lazy, but when I was younger, I didn't really like to do the hard work. And I know that backstroke was probably the easiest stroke, and I sort of, like, I just really got the technique right and sort of cruised through, and I think that sort of helps me uh, at this level at the moment, just sort of getting my technique right, cruising through, but, I mean, you still, you got to have the hard work. And, Basically, I didn't do that until I was probably 18, and I mean, I guess it shows that I've sort of matured late in swimming, but I, I wish now, if I had the chance, and if I could take it back, I'd probably really, really would have worked harder when I was younger, and hopefully gotten there a lot earlier.